2020, the, the Faculty of Health Sciences initiated a no smoking campaign across campus. And this really was to be in line with the university's vision of a healthy and wealthy campus. And uh, we followed suit um, from one of the other universities in South Africa. In fact, Wits is, is one of, or Wits Faculty of Health Sciences, is one of only a handful of campuses that are currently smoke free in South Africa. And uh, the justification behind it, specifically from a faculty point of view, was you know, we espouse values of health and wellness, but we really need to be living up to uh, that, that practice and that standard as a faculty. So when the decision came about to actually initiate this campaign, we decided to do it in a, let's call it a kind of a phased-in approach. Um, we started off slowly, we notified staff and students that the campus was effectively going to be smoke-free from the 31st of August 2020. Um, so we initiated a countdown um, and every month we, we sent out notifications to say that you know, you've know you only got so many months left to go before the campus is entirely smoking. And we were actually met with very little resistance. Most, For the most part people supported the campaign. The no smoking campaign really brought to light the fact that um, smoking is no longer just a medical issue, it's also a public health and a socio-economic issue. And so we really have the interests of our staff and students at heart when we initiated this campaign. The faculty also acknowledges that smoking is an addiction, so we are doing our very best to provide support to those who are committed to quitting, um, and we hope that in the long run this campaign will actually help them to do that. There are a few things that tobacco smoking does, and uh, one of them is that it causes chronic inflammation, which means the airways are inflamed and all the other parts of the body that are affected. The next thing is that it causes um, immune suppression, so we're not able to fight infections, especially viruses and bacteria, quite nicely when we smoke because uh, things like the mucociliary clearance, some of the inflammatory cells that help us fight infections are not working well when you smoke. There's also damage to the endothelium, which is the lining of the blood vessels, which means then there's a poor supply of blood to vital organs due to narrowing of the vessels. And as a result, smoking ends up affecting every organ in the body and uh, giving you one problem or the other. The outstanding ones would be coughing and we have an entity called smokers cough because of people coughing from smoking and coughing from even uh, other diseases happening. There may be shortness of breath and then all the other things happen like tightness of the chest and wheezing but those two are the main ones. The illnesses that you get are many and a few I've highlighted. So if you don't attend to them, like chronic bronchitis and emphysema, end up being that your air passages become damaged for life and you are what we call the chronic obstructive airways disease, which is really what those two come from. If you don't attend to immune suppression, obviously you will get the uh, bad infections, viruses like influenza and uh, other infections like TB and, um, and pneumonias will happen more often. And uh, you may also get cancer in the lung and cancer in many other parts of the body as well. There is not much evidence as to these new things that are there. But uh, it's possible that smokers may, if they are teenagers and also learning about this, they may graduate into real smokers from it and that they will stay with the things that they are smoking. And it's also possible that those that have nicotine may also lead to an addiction and may It's a significant big risk because you get smoking from uh, you get exposed from the air that the smokers breathe out and also from the stamp as it bends and the air comes in different directions so you have as many effects as the smokers would get if you are exposed to secondary smoking which we call environmental as well 
So all the diseases and ailments that you counting when you are a smoker, you still exposed to them because all those toxins can still affect the smoker and can even affect young children as well. I think they need to be aware that it's for their own benefit that they should quit because of the dangers of smoking. So they really need to be highly motivated and of course from the healthcare system and from the care workers they need to be well supported in terms of information, advice and encouragement. But uh, they also need to play their role in that they must uh, be determined, they must set quit date, they must understand the harms and the benefits of quitting and of uh, the harms of smoking.